Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be, not sure, I'm just gonna do my makeup with you guys. It's Friday, um, I have no plans, but I figured I just wanna do my makeup. So I wanted to film it and share it with you guys because it's kind of like my go-to makeup. Um, I have lash extensions, so that makes doing my makeup a lot funner because I don't have to put on strip lashes. So I think today's is just going to be a very, my everyday base and then we'll do some fun eyes, maybe some eyeliner, I don't know. But if you wanna see how I do my makeup, um, how I kinda get myself ready if I was going out, then just go ahead and keep watching. I'm going to start off by clipping my hair back because I don't want this in my face and I'm just going to, oh. These little cute, cute hair clips have little jewels on them. And, oh, and I got them from I think Forever 21 or something. And I'm just going to clip them back. So my hair is out of my face. So like I said, this is gonna be a very kind of plain look for how I usually do my makeup if, if I was doing something, if, if, if I was doing something. Um, the, this is kind of my everyday eyeshadow theme, so I usually stick to very warm tones just because I have green eyes, so I usually do that. And then, yeah, I'll kind of walk you through all my products and kind of talk, talk as we go. So I have moisturizer on my face, and I'm just going to go in with the Morphe setting spray, and I'm just going to spray my face. I like to do that before I kind of do anything um, on my base and then to start off with a primer I'm gonna go in with the one size secure and blur primer this is a really good pore filling primer oh I forgot my mirror I'll be back okay so I have my mirror and I'm definitely gonna need that and I'm just gonna put it downwards so if you see me looking down that's why um, but this primer is really nice for pore filling so if you have pores in like your t-zone here here obviously um, I like this primer. It works really great. I think it's around like $30. Um, and the whole one size is actually done. It's Patrick Starline. It's Patrick Star's line, who is a makeup artist here on YouTube. And I really like a lot of his products actually. So you can use literally like this much. Like you need literally the smallest amount. And I like to just kind of put this everywhere where I would like a bit of pore filling. So we're gonna do that. As for foundation today, I'm going to go in with my trusty NARS Tinted Moisturizer. I use a tinted moisturizer on a daily basis. This is the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer and I'm going in with Groenland Light 3. This actually is a little bit darker, so I like to use it when I have a bit of self-tan. I have a little bit of self-tan left over on my body, I actually just tried the Saint Tropez Ashley Graham collab self tan and it is so good. So I have a little bit left. I know I'm very fair, but that is surprisingly with a bit of tan. So I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of that and put a little bit of it all over my face. I always just kind of spread my foundations this way. Everyone kind of does it their own way. And then I'm gonna go in with my trusty e.l.f beauty sponge and just lightly tap it in all around my face. Okay, so we're done with the foundation. It's very light. You can still see my skin through it. Um, that's personally just kind of what I like. I do use obviously a heavier foundation if I'm like going out or anything, but <laughs> that's not the case. So next I'm gonna go in with the Born This Way Sculpting Concealer. This is in the shade Swan and I'm going to a little bit of this goes a really long way. So I usually like to put my concealer up here just so my eyes get pushed up and I do a little bit down here and just like that. So again, on the other side, that. And then I'm gonna go back in for a little bit and push it just down on my chin, up on my forehead and my nose. And that's kind of where I personally like to conceal. 
this might be a lot to someone and this might be like nothing compared to a lot of people but i feel like um because this is so high coverage i just blend this all in and that's just how i like it okay so that is what the concealer looks like blended in it's nice and bright and usually i would go in with a cream contour but mine literally just ran out so i need to buy another one and as far as like liquids that is all i'm gonna put on my face we're gonna go in with powder bronzer and all that but i do want to set my face now that all of the liquid is done so i'm gonna go in with the charlotte tilbury flawless airbrush setting spray airbrush flawless and i'm just gonna spray i go pretty heavy on this stuff because i feel like the sprayer isn't as nice as the Morphe one, um, but I'm just gonna let this set and then we are going to go in with powder. Okay, so for the powder, I keep like pausing my camera because I'm like sitting here airing out my face, but um, for powder to set my under eyes and kind of set everywhere where I put concealer, I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty uh, Translucent Setting Powder and this is in the color Sugar Cookie, which is like a translucent. Um, and I'm just gonna go in under my eyes, my chin. Ooh, yikes, there's quite a bit on the top here. Um, and I personally just use that with a beauty blender. So I'm going to dip that in and just kind of put it on the areas where I don't want the concealer to crinkle or anything. And I'm just gonna use whatever is left. My chin, forehead, and I kind of just dab whatever's left all around my face so that by the time we put the bronzer and everything on, it'll blend seamlessly. All right, so since it is a Friday, I just cracked open a nude. This is my favorite. It is the Nude Cran Raspberry Scent, scent flavor. It's so good. <sighs> Love it. Okay, so this is gonna set. I'm gonna go in with my bronzer now which is the Bobbi Brown Basic Brown. I've been using this on my channel forever. I've actually had this for so long, like I really desperately need a new bronzer. Um, comment down below some bronzers that you guys like, um, but I'm just gonna go in here, do my cheeks. Um, I'll show you guys, but I'm just gonna go in. It's always very scary at first because I'm so fair, but I promise, wow. <laughs> I promise I make it look good. heavier in my bronzer on this camera it literally looks like i've just turned into an impalumpa on the one side of my face but i promise in person it doesn't look as drastic but this might be a lot of bronzer to someone but to me my dream is to be like this bronze 24 7 so um because that's not possible i just make it work okay so we're gonna go in do the exact same thing on the other side okay so we're done with the bronzer and hmm, I know it kind of looks crazy. Believe me, it looks blended in person. And if you know me in person, hopefully you don't think that my makeup looks like the way it looks on camera because. So we're gonna go with blush now. And for blush, it is the Charlotte Tilbury Chic to Chic blush. Again, I've been using this for literally ever. I need like new powders but mind you i just like these ones so i don't think i really need but i'd like to try some new ones i like to put blush like on my nose i like to put it kind of everywhere to give me that little like sun-kissed kind of look and again i just bring everything down my neck just out of habit and that's how we're looking and then my final kind of like face check is going to be highlighter this is the Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop um, Highlighter. Jeez. And I'm actually gonna use that with the Morphe M510 brush. And I just do it on the highs of my cheeks. Here. I do like a little bit on my forehead. Here, here. My nose. I personally like a highlighted nose. I know that's not everyone's cup of tea. Cupid's bow. And I like to just look like I'm glowing from within. Cheeks on both sides. So now I'm glowing and I think that's gonna be it for the face base. 
that is kind of what I like to do on not an everyday basis by any means but I just like to like this is kind of my what I like to do on my face since we're done with all the powders again we're gonna go in and set you can really use any setting spray you have as you can see I kind of juggle between everything that I have I also brought in a couple products that I would recommend if you didn't want if you don't want to try this primer this one is also one of my favorites it's the Tatcha pore minimizing primer this is so good but it's super expensive so that's why this one's a good alternative um and then I think it's literally the only other thing I brought because I felt like I just wanted to mention it. But um, now I guess we're going to move on to eyes. So like I mentioned earlier, this is my kind of go-to everyday eyeshadow palette. It is the Huda Beauty Nude Nude Rich Obsessions palette. And it has nine colors. I don't use the glitters and stuff as an everyday eyeshadow I usually just kind of dabble in with like this one that one sometimes this one these kind of three um, so those are which ones we're gonna use today um, and I'm gonna go in first with a Morphe M330 blending brush and I'm just gonna go in with this lightest color here and I'm just gonna kind of go in my crease back and forth for a while until we change colors and I'm just gonna go in and do the same on the other eye Okay, so that's kind of all I'm going to do for my eyes. And then I'm going to go in with that deeper, I'll show you guys, this kind of like deeper pink color right here. And I'm just going to go under my eyes. Um, I don't really like to ever leave my under eyes bare, personally. Um, so I just kind of rub a little bit into my under eye. Okay, and that is the it for the eyes. So it's really simple. Again, um, if I was going out or doing something, I would kind of explore more into these colors. But I'm doing like a very basic bronzy eye today and then the last step is going to be brows um i guess and lips after as well but uh for brows i go in with the anastasia beverly hills brow wiz mine is in the shade soft brown and i just go in and really sparsely i already have pretty full eyebrows so i just go in and briefly pencil these in and then i use my spoolie to kind of work the product through my eyebrow so that's it for my brows. I usually really don't do a lot for them, um, but I am going to do another step and I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Brow Freeze. This is just like a like a glue and I just go in with like a separate spoolie because I don't want to ruin my Anastasia one. Anastasia, I always say that wrong. And I literally go in with like no pressure, nothing into the brow freeze and I'm just going to stick my eyebrow hairs up. Not fully because my eyebrows are like huge, so I just like a little bit. And that's it for my brows. And then I guess the final step is going to be my lips. So I'm gonna go in with the MAC Lip Liner in Whirl, and I'm just gonna kinda line my lips, and then I think I might go off camera, do my hair, and then I will come back and show you guys the finished look. I'm gonna go one last spray with my setting spray. And then I'm going to go do my hair and show you guys the finished look. All right, I'm back. I just threw some curls in my hair. I haven't, I'm not good with hair, so it is what it is. And I actually topped my lips with this um, Too Faced Lip Injections Extreme. And I thought that looked pretty. And that's the look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you want me to try to recreate any other makeup looks, please comment down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe, thumbs up. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. It's kind of like my, my go-to makeup look. Realistically, my go-to hair as well. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.